Did you know that the North Star changes over time? That's right, the star that sailors have relied upon for centuries for navigation isn't as constant as you might think. This celestial beacon, currently known as Polaris, has been a steady guide for those traversing land and sea. But what if I told you, due to a fascinating cosmic ballet, this guiding star shifts over millennia? This is all thanks to a phenomenon known as the precession of the equinoxes. Just like a spinning top wobbles as it spins, the Earth too wobbles slightly on its axis. This wobble, over a cycle of approximately 26,000 years, changes the position of the Earth's poles and the equinoxes. This in turn changes the star that aligns with our North Celestial Pole. So, if Polaris hasn't always been our North Star, what was before it and what will be after? To understand why our North Star changes, we need to delve into the phenomenon known as the precession of the equinoxes. This cosmic dance is the result of the Earth's axial precession, a slow and continuous change in the orientation of our planet's axis of rotation. Imagine the Earth as a spinning top. As it spins, it doesn't remain perfectly upright, but rather wobbles slightly. In much the same way, our Earth wobbles on its axis. But unlike a spinning top that may wobble and fall over within moments, Earth's wobble is far more gradual, taking roughly 26,000 years to complete a single cycle. So, what does this all mean? Well, this wobble changes the position of the Earth's poles and the equinoxes. The equinoxes are the points where the equator intersects the celestial sphere, the imaginary sphere of stars surrounding the Earth. Currently, our North Star is Polaris. It's the star that aligns most closely with the North Celestial Pole, the point directly above the Earth's North Pole. But here's where the precession comes in. As the Earth's axis wobbles, the North Celestial Pole shifts, meaning Polaris won't remain our North Star forever. In fact, around 3000 years ago, the star Thuban in the constellation Draco was the North Star. And in about 13,000 years time, the title of North Star will pass to the star Vega in the constellation Lyra, all thanks to the precession of the equinoxes. The slow transition is not something we'll notice in our lifetime or even over many generations, but it's a critical consideration in navigation, astronomy, and in understanding the long-term dynamics of our planet's orientation in space. So, as the Earth wobbles on its axis, the star we call North Star changes over millennia. Fascinating, isn't it? Now that we understand why the North Star changes, let's explore the stars that have held and will hold this prestigious title. 3000 years ago, the North Star was not Polaris, but rather a star named Thuban, located in the constellation Draco. Thuban's reign as the North Star was during the era of the ancient Egyptians and it is thought that the Great Pyramid of Giza was built to align with it. Thuban, although a relatively faint star, held its position as the North Star for centuries, guiding countless sailors and explorers on their journeys. However, as the Earth continued its slow wobble, the North Celestial Pole began to drift away from Thuban over time, the title of North Star was passed on to Kochub in the Little Dipper and then finally to Polaris, where it resides today. Polaris, or the North Star, is located in the constellation Ursa Minor and is a beacon for those navigating the night skies. For now, it sits almost directly overhead at the North Pole, a constant and reliable guide. But even Polaris won't hold this title forever. As the Earth continues its axial precession, the North Celestial Pole will gradually move towards the constellation Cepheus. In approximately 13,000 years, the role of North Star will be passed on to Vega, a bright star in the constellation Lyra. Vega is one of the most luminous stars in the night sky and it will make a brilliant North Star for future generations. 
the ever-changing North Star a testament to the incredible dynamics of our planet's orientation in space, yet seemingly unchanged in our lifetime. The next time you look up at Polaris, remember, it's not always been our North Star and it won't always be.